Hi, this is Chris and welcome to Winemaker TV. And Merry Christmas to me. This is my Christmas gift from my wife and family. I got uh, grapes for my backyard vineyard. I got four vines here. Two are uh, Blanc de Bois. I chose these because this I got these from Ison's. And Ison's is probably an hour away from me. So these are... I know will grow in my area because where I bought them is in my area and I've seen a lot of local wineries have these two varieties so I got a black Spanish and also I got a Blanc du Bois like I said these two are very common with professional wineries in my area so I know they will grow grow good so let's plant some vines got these from Ison's so they didn't pay me anything to say this but just to let y'all know where I got them from Ison's.com if y'all want to grab any one of these the black Spanish is a red grape which I mean um, I mean to make a red wine out of the Blanc de Bois is a white grape of course which I may make a white grape out of now to go over they come that's just a bill a laden PO invoice whatever you want to call it but they also come with a characteristic sheet what's well, cool I like that I like information so this is the characteristics of these two um, you, there are woody vines that consist of a root system trunk and shoots or canes growing grapes have extensive root systems the roots are up to two to five feet However, the roots can grow up to 25 to 40 feet. The grapevines can grow in a wide range of soil types. Choose deep, well-drained soils to avoid and avoid standing water and it, to encourage early growth. Well-drained soils will produce the best growth and yields. Avoid soils that are persistently wet during the growing season. Grapes need full sunshine and high temperatures to ripen, so plant them on the south side. Well, I'm planting them on my north side because my south side is covered in shade. So, but it'll it'll be this this area gets sun in the summer year round. I mean, all day long. Plant grapevines six to eight feet apart in within a row. So we're gonna plant these six feet apart. So two of them will go in one row, 12 feet up in a 12 foot row, planted and growing towards each other. So let's get started. It said it's good to let your roots soak. Put enough baling wire on these baling cord on these things. All right, these are the Blanc de Bois. Like I said, I got two of them. I'm gonna put one right here below the camera, but then I'm gonna put the other one right down here and I already dug my hole. Make sure you spread these roots out. You don't want them to get all bunched up and tangled up. And this is the black Spanish beauty. As you can see, the root system is not nearly as extensive on these as it was on the uh, Blanc du Bois. But luckily, you need moisture. Luckily, we had a deluge of rain the other day. So we, got, we may have too moist of soil, but it's good for these to get, uh, when you first plant them, to be really moist. Again, this is a Spanish, a black Spanish beauty. You want to kind of clean these up and prune them after you. That's a lot. And this is what you get. Good to get dirty. Ooh. 
Woo, that's how you do it right there. Look at that. Love it to have that dirt on your hand. So we're gonna put in a little trellis system. I like these T posts. Most people put in wooden posts. I don't know, there's just something about uh, pressure treated lumber I just do not like. This is Chris with Winemaker TV. That's all there is today.